it's a little bit frustrating not being able to make it in to see the whanau and to get the program uh, up and running because of course all programs are uh, on hold at the moment uh, so far as i know um so yeah just um actually being able to do the mahi um i'm a cold faced person um love to actually be um doing the mahi not just sort of thinking about it um albeit understandably in this um era that we're in so yeah okay awesome thank you um uh, anna similar question um how's everything going and what has it been like for you just um same as jade it's tough not going in there and also feeling you know like we can't do a zoom lesson or anything like that as well because of the restrictions um so that's tough um and then i get a bit concerned about if i start videoing stuff for corrections you know with intellectual property and that kind of thing then i get a bit anxious about that. um but yeah mostly just really sucks not being able to go in and i guess when we when i have gone in i've noticed that the men are a lot more stressed you know there's a lot going on for them and then i'm not as practiced when i go in as well so i feel like they're not getting the best version of me and they're also a little bit harder than normal to um teach is that right yeah that's probably no fair enough yeah thank you anna uh ruth did you have a little um, similar question um how everything's going for you i uh, know you've been doing some work in the community so yeah how you were doing with covid in the community as well Kia ora, everyone so um yeah have not been getting going into the prison has been a real bummer because i just before i'd started with an amazing group like totally new all high security and they were out of this world, so talented, natural raw talent. So I was really looking forward to starting my program with them and then boom, haven't been able to go in there since and it's a real bummer. However, the community stuff is going well. We're doing something for this year's Dunedin Fringe Festival, keeping everything crossed that the um, Fringe Festival is still going ahead at the moment it is. And I think it's because it's like a lot of smaller venues. Our audience is only 40. So, and our cast and crew is only eight. So I think we're gonna be able to manage to do it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, if Omicron don't kick us up the butt again. Um, mm. So the community group, oh my gosh, we're doing a play called Been Through Enough and um, using Forum Theatre again. And it's going to be based that we're doing it at Teho Order Services up at Carroll Street. They're uh, gifting us their space. And it's so that the, the cast, honestly, we did a rehearsal Wednesday night and the, uh, they got me in tears already. Um, so I've still been managing because I've been doing the community stuff. I've been still managing to do something. So mm. I've been trying to keep that alive at the moment so it's not been too bad for me um but i think if i didn't have that i'd i'd feel bereft to be honest um if i you know it's a bit a bit bereft i can't go in to see the prison group um so i'm sort of managing to do okay at the moment so amazing that's amazing when is the pay so it's the 17th 18th no hang on 18th 19th of march so it's a Friday, Saturday on the first week, and the second week we're doing 24th, 25th to so the Thursday, Friday, 7.30. Um, yes, yeah, so if you can come along, that would be awesome. I'll send you a link with the poster and how you can get tickets. Of course. Okay. Right, good night. Because, you know, I'm in Dunedin now. I'm a Dunedin knight. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll come along and have a look as well. <laughs> 